Hello, and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this example, we will share the best practices for using the weighted control number smoothing to improve grid quality in your unstructured block. The geometry you see is the NASA Common Research Model, more specifically the Case 2.3 geometry from the fifth High Lift Prediction Workshop. This geometry and the Fidelity Pointwise files and meshes are available for download on the NASA High Lift Prediction Workshop webpage. As one can see, this is a half body model of a generic commercial aircraft in a wing body tail configuration. If we zoom in, look under the wing, we can see the model includes extended trailing edge flaps and the flap track fairings. If we examine the leading edge, you can see the model also has a deployed leading edge slat that includes the slat brackets. So this is a very detailed model, and we use the automatic surface mesh capability in Fidelity Pointwise to create the surface mesh. And you can see that all the detail of the flaps and slat have been gridded. Now we also use the automatic volume mesh capability to create the volume mesh that you see here. I'm going to set the entity mass to blocks and select the block that we'll use for this example. We'll then go into the block solver by selecting Grid Solve from the drop-down menu. And you can see this block is already initialized with about 70 million points. One of the nice features here is the ability to use the examine function to look at grid qualities from within the solver. I'm going to choose Max Included Angle from the drop-down and click Examine. Now when this completes, we have a histogram showing the range of Max Included Angle and the number of cells in each bin. We also see that we have a maximum value of 179.6, which is what we're going to try to improve with the WCN Smoother. And we can exit the examine feature by selecting Close. And we can see the Smooth option on the Solve tab. But first, let's go to the Attributes tab, click the checkbox next to Smoothing to expand the options. And we see the defaults for Convergence Cost Threshold, Cost Angle Threshold, which is basically max included angle, and a relaxation factor. For this case, I'm going to set the cost angle up to 179.5 and the relaxation factor down to 0.05. The higher cost angle will reduce the number of cells that the smoother has to act on, making the process faster. I'm going to reduce the number of iterations to 25, and then I can click on Smooth. I'm going to slide this bar to the right. So now that we can see the columns for iterations, cost angle and min cost update as the smoother is running. Now it only took seven iterations to meet the min cost. So I'm going to go back to my attributes tab and I'm going to reduce the cost angle threshold by half a degree. Go back to solve and hit smooth again. Now you notice this time it took 20 iterations, but we met our min cost. So we're going to go back to the Attributes tab and, again, reduce our cost angle threshold by half a degree. Go Back to Solve, Smooth. And you'll notice this time that it actually completes all 25 iterations without meeting our min cost. So we won't make any changes on the Attributes tab. We're just going to click Smooth again to continue iterating. And you see it only took another two iterations to meet our min cost. Now we can continue this process of lowering the cost angle and running the smoother until we reach a point where we can no longer reach the min cost with any additional smoothing iterations. The smoothing technique was able to reduce the max included angle from 179.6 to under 177 degrees in just over 200 iterations. Now another best practice is to check component volumes to ensure they are all positive. It is possible to have a grid with all positive volumes, but some negative component volumes. And some CFD codes will flag these negative component volumes as negative cells. But we can see here that we have all positive values. With that check complete, we can exit the examine function and click OK to save the block. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.